giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Um, all right, uh, Lino, you want to go ahead and talk about Hopper? Yeah, let's go. I'm really excited for this division. It's going to be pretty fun with many teams showing great performances. I'm just going to go right into the top teams, which I think they're from this division, starting with 2046. After winning the Pacific Northwest District Championship with their amazing performance, Burr Metal is looking to take this performance to the world stage. Um, I really like their design, of which brings a fast elevator, which they will rocket through the competition, and I expect them to sit high on their division. Having already won four Blue Banners and only losing their first event as a number one seed, I expect them to be at the top of their division. Another great team from this division is 4910, is Cub Robotics. I've been actually following them since last season because we were together in an alliance and it's a great robot this year. Um, they've been sitting like top seats during their events and they also won the Pitch Street District uh, State Championship with a gold medal. And the other top team I wanted to talk about is 3476 Code Orange, a beautiful orange robot. Um, last regional Code Orange was picked by 1678 the area at the Aris Pass Valley and they won the event. I think the Coda Ranch that we will be seeing um, at the championship will be one with a lot of fast event experience. And I, I'm not sure if they're gonna be on the number one alliance, but on whatever alliance they end up, they're gonna be a threat to face against. Now on second tier, mm -hmm. I decided to pick 1671 the Buchanan Bird brings, which is another great team on this division. They've been improving throughout the season and they won Monterey Bay Regional, um, taking a clean bling actually with the Chairman's Award. So their ability to, to do a level three climb and place cargos in hatches consistently, um, I think they're gonna be a good pick for whatever alliance they end up on this division. And I will also like to talk about um, 2992, the SS Prometheus, which after like, I think like a while, like 10 years, um, they won Rock City Regional and a finalist award at Bayou Regional. So this, it's been a win for them for a while. They, they got a great robot and Prometheus is looking to set sail at Houston Championship. I expect them to, to do great because of, I've been seeing clips on social media of them just practicing and practicing. So with reliable driving skills in Houston, they're just going to be a great team to have. And finally, uh, as a dark horse, I have two teams. The first one is going to be 40. 43, which they've been doing great throughout their season. They've been ranking great. And it's a really simple robot. I think it's like a belt intake and it just drops the cargo to the cargo ship. Um, so it's going to be a great robot, I think, for the right alliance if they get picked as a second pick, maybe. It's just going to be a great alliance. And finally, um, 2714, Risk It for the Brisket. Team 2714 <laughs> barbecue name. came out of nowhere at the Texas State Championship with a level three half suction climb, which surprised everyone at playoffs. And they became finalists for the event. I think that without that climb, they wouldn't have made it. I have no idea what surprise meal they will be cooking at Houston, but I'm sure it will be a great pick for any Alliance captain. And maybe they give them another delicious barbecue plate. I, I remember that when they picked barbecue, the, the the representative from barbecue actually came over and gave the Alliance captain a plate of ribs, I think. <laughs> I mean, I, I so, picked them for a plate of ribs, man. That sounds yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best strategy. Just have a plate of ribs and make sure you get picked. <laughs> so this division could go many ways. It does not have like a straightforward winner. Um, according to predictions, 4910 and 2046 have shown to be the best robots to sit high on the division. And I don't think they can take the number one rank at Hopper. Um, I still think the this division has many diversity picks like 54, 2046, 21, 22, 29, 76, 34, 76, 40, 43, and I could just keep going on because, and it's going to matter a lot for um, scouting. Um, I have a couple of teams I would like to mention, um, so I should mention a little more. Um, yeah. So out of California, Team 1072, Harker Robotics. Um, they were, I believe, finalists at their first event, and they were with 973 at Sacramento and finalists again. Um, they're really good. Um, they have a nice pass-through that's been working pretty well for them this season. Um, so I could definitely see them ending up on a higher alliance. Um, and then 1425 out of uh, PNW, 
coming in with uh, their turreted elevator. Um, they're another team that's pretty good. Um, not as good as last year, for say, but they're still up there for sure. Um, and I do want to touch more on uh, 2976, who were uh, world champions last year um, with 254. They really stepped it up this year, um, and they're one of the only cup or they're one of the few teams in PNW who are capable of soloing rockets. Um, so that good for them. Nice to see them. That world championship kind of got them to the next level, um, and they're going to keep on growing through the next couple of years. Um, and then uh, CPR, um, another PNW team, uh, 5803, uh, Apex, another PNW team. And then uh, out of the south, um, who ranked one at Palmetto, um, 4020 Cyber Tribe. Um, watching them uh, early on, they came in with a really solid climb, um, and they can handle game pieces really well, so they could potentially upset the rankings in the division. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw out a couple here too. Forty four ninety nine, the Highlanders um, has always shown propensity for really strong driving. They're out of Colorado. One of the you know there's a lot of attention that's on sixteen nineteen these days, but um, one of the other ones that really has had a pretty good history coming out of Colorado is forty forty four ninety nine. Um, they've, uh, like I said, l- last year was a really small switch spot this year. They've been a finalist at one event, um, expect a good showing out of them. And we, we haven't talked, you know, too much about them here, but 21, 22, I know you, you touched on Lino, but yeah. like event over event over event, they've gotten much, much better, much, so better. <laughs> much better. Oh my God. Uh, yes. So I, I, if I don't, you know, I, I gotta at least call that out here. Because when I look at, you know, who the who the top teams are here by like, you know, max OPR, I think this is a pretty wide open field. I wouldn't even be surprised if 21-22 took the top spot here just for the amount of dramatic improvement that they've had. Um, so I'd uh, I'd keep an eye on them. They're they're very good. Yeah, to touch a little bit more on uh, 21-22, um, back when I was in high school, I had to play against them in 2016 and 2017. And, you know, they just have the – one of my favorite stories is their 2016 bot. Their first event, they came in with a low goal. Their second event, they were low goal and climb. Their, by champs, they had a high goal and a climb. And they ended up being one of the top robots in the world and got to Einstein. They and just the funny – I'll tell you, I was on that division. The funny thing was that like uh, 11 or 12 high goal scoring scoring per match didn't show up until they were in playoff rounds. It was the funniest thing. Like oh before that, they were scoring like three or four, and then boom, they hit 12. And it, it was uh, it was amazing to watch that whole alliance ended up showing up for playoffs. Yeah, really um, looking forward to watching them then. I'll yeah. tell you, I'll tell you one team that I'm surprised nobody talked about, and I'm glad because I get to talk about them a little bit. And that's 1987, uh, out of oh, uh, Missouri yeah. land area. Yeah. Won, won the yeah. Central Missouri Regional as the number six Alliance captain, uh, and absolutely just uh, just took Central Missouri by storm. They were knocked on the quarterfinals in their first event uh, in the C1987. Uh, just, I, I think, you know, they get very undershadowed by the team that's one digit lower than them, but uh, they kind of got their chance to shine this year since they were at different events and. 1987 to me, I think, has a really uh, a good shot. I don't know about seeding in the top eight, but I think they could be a nice dark horse pick uh, for somebody uh, during the event. And uh, uh, somebody in chat just mentioned uh, in regards to 1477 Texas Torque. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, 1477, I I think, is a good team overall, but I, if I remember correctly, I don't think they were picked at they didn't get they were not right? Texas. Yeah, nope. so, uh, you know, could could they be a, a team that maybe gets picked up later for the third or fourth spot? Yeah, maybe, but I, I don't necessarily see them as, as a lock, and I, I think they're decently enough well-known in regards to a dark horse team for something like that. So, uh, you know, I don't know if something went wrong with them or, or what the story was behind that, but uh, the, definitely that the, they weren't on my list just doing a little bit of research uh, because of something like that. So, um, yeah, interesting to see. Uh, for that as well too but yeah guys a lot of great teams in in this division uh do you get any uh any predictions here for us who's going to take this division with such a deep uh run uh you know is it going to be 2046 who's it going to be gonna say that it's not going to be the number one seed i think the there's going to be a really strong alliance form by uh out of the nowhere pick by a sec by a number three alliance probably so i just have this feeling 
Yeah, just responding, Chad, that's a tough. I mean, you are right. There, there are teams that, that do well at championships that don't do well at DCMP, but uh, I don't know about them seeding high. You know, I could see them doing well as a third or fourth robot. I don't see a team like 1477 personally being, you know, the top four robot picked in a division or something like that. Yeah. So, so it could yep. be decent value, sure, but I don't, I don't really see them, you know, being the, the outbreak. And maybe they will be. That would be fantastic uh, if they are. Uh, I really love uh, – uh, bare metal. Uh, I think you know they got undershadowed a lot by twenty nine ten this year uh, out of P and W, and I think a lot of people who aren't in P and W don't know about them. Uh, this this bot is absolutely phenomenal and won it with twenty nine ten, and just a very slick robot. And they got defended against too. Something to mention is that they were with twenty nine ten, and twenty nine ten is so versatile. Uh, in regards to defense, the teams went after 2046, and they were still scoring, and they were still winning, and they were still doing they did more and more. Yeah, I mean, and, and something like that to me is just absolutely uh, phenomenal to see. No, yeah, I, the- I, I I agree with you, Tyler. I think that 20. Uh, it, it's weird to say, but like 2046 is probably the most underrated team in PNW at this point, just because it might be in uh, first, uh, honestly. Know, yeah, yeah. It, it, in they they may be like I've in my mind like I've put them ahead of 2910 quite a few times. Hmm. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's I mean, going to ver- be a great division yeah. to watch. Yeah, versatility, Ben. I think sure because they're able to score, you know, level two and level three. Uh, so I think it just kind of comes down to uh, what do you need, which I think is some good mm-hmm. foreshadowing for a division later on in regards to mm-hmm. do you pick 2910 or another team uh, for something like that. So We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.